Hello everyone and welcome back to Physio Quest 2.0. Today we are going to discuss about question number 3 which was asked on this Friday. But before this, if you are new to this series and you don't know what is Physio Quest and you want to know more questions like this, you should watch Physio Quest season 1 in which I have discussed more than 30 questions more than 30 cases on real life physiotherapy scenario, more than 30 conditions and many more things. All right, so without wasting any time, let's discuss what is there in question number three and what can be the actual answer of this question. So question goes something like this, that patient suffering from C6 spinal cord injury, Patient is completely reliable on T notices and we need to find out that which of the following is going to reduce, reduce the actual function of the T notices or actual benefits of the T notices for the patient. And options given here are, the first option is that long finger flexors are lengthened. The second one is that hamstring muscle is more flexible. The third option is hamstring activity is limited and the fourth option is that patient performs activities with finger flexed. Now, My dear friends, you must know that functional position of hand which means that hand has to be flexed. Okay, let's start with the elbow. Elbow has to be flexed and your uh, forearm has to be semi prone position plus your wrist has to be slightly extended and fingers have to be flexed. So this is your functional position in which you can perform all the activity, all the daily routine activities with ease. Now this function will be affected if either your finger flexors are lengthened or if your finger flexors are flexed. So the answer is very easy. We can easily say that if your finger flexors are lengthened, then it will be very difficult to take advantage of the t notices which is done. Now you might be wondering, some of you might be wondering what is this tenodesis. So tenodesis is just simply like arthrodesis, where we fuse the joint in arthrodesis, in tenodesis we try to fuse the tendons or muscles so that we can create one functional activity position for the patient, especially in the spinal cord injury. So I hope that every one of you are very clear that answer to this question is going to be option A which is going to reduce the advantage of Tino disease. If you have any other queries about this, do let me know in the comment section. If you are loving this season PhysioQuest 2.0, then also please let me know in the comment section. It will really motivate me for give you more and more questions and conditions like this.